Hello Leos and welcome to my channel Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo and I'm here to bring you your April 2018 um, channeled messages from spirit. This won't resonate with you all so just take what fits and leave what don't. Um, for you guys Leo, you guys have the power this month. Um, you have the power to be great or you have the power to live in a slump. It's time to make decisions. It's decision time. Um, be confident in yourself this month because you guys have big blessings coming in this month. You're finding stability in your emotions, in your finances, in your friends, family. I mean, in every area of your life, finally stability is coming your way. For a group of you, finances are becoming a priority. You have been kind of slacking off in the responsibility department and enjoying having fun. But in the month of April, you guys are going to start buckling down. For a group of you, you have a gift of a large amount of money coming in. Um, this could be from a gift from like a family member, a friend, or like um, like a lottery win. I'm not saying go out and gamble by any means, but I see for some of you, you are like gambling, you're winning money. Um, for another group of you, you are finding huge success in a business that you just recently started. Um and also partnerships. So for a group of you, you're joining up with another company. You guys are um, putting your two companies together. Um, and this is going to be very successful. For another group of you, you are um, making somebody your partner in your company. And abundance is coming your guys' way. For a group of you, you need to remember to be grateful and show gratitude for the blessings that you do have. Um, you're concentrating on what you don't have and the lack, and um, you are manifesting um, not as high vibrational situations. Um, in love, some of you are feeling depressed and anxious and feeling like you're not enough, you don't have enough to offer, you don't have enough to give, that you are not receiving the blessings that you had hoped for, you're not getting enough. Make sure you ground yourself. Make sure you do not get stuck in your head. Um, some of you are taking um, situations that are going on in your life or like a chance situation that you come across and then you in your time alone are sitting there in your head and the situation, the problem is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it's not really that bad. So watch that. Make sure you're not um, getting too anxious and worked up over something that it's going to work itself out anyways. And no matter what you do, you can't control the outcome. So just, Make sure you don't get um, stuck there. It's going to be okay. Whatever you're worrying about for this group of you, it's going to work out and it's going to work out in your favor. So don't do that to yourself. For another group of you, you have either Capricorn or a Virgo coming in. They are going to offer you a relationship. This is something that's going to be stable and tempting. For a group of you, you'll take it. You will um, start a relationship with that person. Spirit is warning you to be careful, to do not offer up too much information um, right in the beginning. And to allow yourself to be open and to feel, but 
do not open yourself up too much that you'll be taken advantage of. For another group of you, don't, um, don't chase somebody that doesn't want to be there. A group of you are turning down or not seeing other opportunities that are right in front of you who are begging to spend their time with you, who are asking you every day, how you're doing, how your day is going, what are you up to, you want to hang out. Um, you're ignoring those people while chasing this one person that nine times out of ten they don't answer your text or your call or whatever. And when they do answer, it's kind of a, yeah, what, you know, eh. Don't go chasing those people. Take a step back and perceive the world in a, in a, a different view, maybe. Yeah, a different view. And give those people in your space right now who are trying so hard to get in your space, um, give them a chance. You'd be surprised. For a group of you, you are going to find love and happiness and a beautiful romance with somebody that you never would have pictured yourself with. This person is in your life right now as like a friend um, or an acquaintance, and they are trying very hard to get to be more. Um, Spirit's saying to give them a chance, get to know them, allow them in, and you're going to be swept off your feet. You're going to be surprised. You didn't expect this person to be romantic or um, to be into the same things that you are, but they are going to shock you. And you're going to be so glad that you let them in. This person is emotionally stable. They are financially stable. They um, have a good head on their shoulders and they just want to love you. For another group of you, be confident in yourself. You're, um, you're scared, you're fearful that the relationship you're currently in or want to be in um, is going to end before it's even getting off the ground. And that's because you're not believing in yourself. Be confident. They are there because they want to be there. They are there because they find you attractive mind, body, everything. You have enough. You are enough. You'll be enough. And if you let them in, if you allow yourself to be everything that you have the potential to be, they're not going to go anywhere. You're going to have the ability this month to create something big, like big. It's your dream. It's, I don't, you've been, it's something you've been working on, but haven't been telling anybody. You're going to, somebody's going to see it. Somebody's going to want to invest with you, in you, when they see this, whatever you're creating. And it's going to go worldwide by June. Um, but you are being found this month. You are being discovered. Your finances are going to be off the charts, successful. For another group of you, you are feeling trapped. You are feeling trapped in a relationship that you no longer want to be in. For a group of you, this you're in an affair. You are the mistress. The I don't know. What do you call a guy that's the third? A mister? I don't know. I should look that up. Anyways, you are the third person in this relationship. And you're wanting out. You're scared to tell this person that. Or you're scared to leave because you're worried it's, the affair will come to light. Um, and you're fearful of judgment of whatever this person, um, not has over you, but you're worried about something coming out 
that um, is linked to this affair. Spirit is saying, if you, you're not trapped, you're never trapped. Um, if you're where you're at, it's because you choose to be. We all have the power to leave whatever situation we're in at any time. There's always a way. And this affair is going to come to light anyways. Um, what's done in the dark always comes to light. So don't stay any longer than, um, than what you feel you need to because you're only adding to the fire. It's, it's going to come to light, but it's not going to be anything detrimental to you. Um, it's going to be a lesson that we learn and that we walk away from. Um, for a group of you, you're finally seeing things for what they are. You have had the wool pulled over your eyes and it's been you doing it. Um, you wanted something so bad. You wanted to believe it was something you wanted to believe in someone. And that's just not the case. That's just not how it is. And you know it, but you were hoping it would be different. You're seeing things for what they are. Um, you're going to go back to square one. You're going to reevaluate the situation. You're going to reevaluate all your relationships. You're going to reevaluate what you are, who you are, who you want to be. You're really just breaking it down to ground zero. And you're about to build the person you want to be, the life you want with who you want it. Somebody is coming in for a group of you. They hold the key to your heart. They hold the key to your new beginning. And they are going to help you heal. Now, this could be a friend, a family member. I mean, so many, so many people could be, hold the key to your new beginning. Um, for a group of you, you are arguing with somebody and they're going to say something and it's going to just stop you dead in your tracks. It is going to open your eyes because it just slapped you so hard in the face. But this is a blessing. This is something that you never thought of before. Like you never seen that, pers that side of it, that perspective. It's going to literally stop you dead in your tracks and you're going to take a left turn. And that is the path you're supposed to be on. This is definitely a blessing and it's going to work out in your favor. For a group of you, you have a new beginning in love and intimacy. Like you have not allowed yourself to be with anyone, to love anybody like emotionally and um, intimately. You're going to find somebody that's gonna open your heart back up. The only thing that's stopping you is your wall that you already had built. Start taking that down. Even if it's even if it's brick by brick. So that person sees that you're slowly letting them in because you got that brick so damn tall or that wall so damn tall that they'll walk away if they don't feel like they are getting anywhere. Like as far as um, you letting them in um, emotionally, um, a group of you, you feel like you really like this person, but you have a good poker face. Um, they're searching for something, some clue, some sign that you're into them. Even though you know you're into them, you appear that you're just like, well, you could stay, you could go, whatever, because you don't want to be hurt. Um, you have to have the courage to show a little vulnerability in order for them to feel that you want them. You 
are scared to take these walls down because you feel like you're not in the driver's seat when you don't have that wall up. You feel out of control. And in the past, that out of control feeling has left you to heartache and regret. But it's not going to be that way this time. This person is not going anywhere. They are going to show you adventure, joy, happiness. They are going to show you what it feels like to be truly loved. And for this group of you, this is your twin flame. They are going to break every illusion that you have had of what love is, especially especially for those of you who have been with this person before, and this is your reunion, you thought you loved that person before, just wait. They hurt you when they walked away. You built that wall up. Now you're just finally starting to feel good again. You're starting to feel normal again. You're starting to feel like you could live without them. And they come waltzing back into your life. And you're like, oh, hell no. That wall's up. Start taking that the wall down. They're not going anywhere this time. Once you heal, completely finish healing. And allow this person back in. You're going to feel complete. You're going to feel loved in a way you've never felt before because you've never been this complete before. You've never been this loved before. Half of your soul was gone with this person. You don't know what it's like to be that whole person again until now. The end of April, beginning of May, they are coming back. Let them in. For a group of you, you are struggling with addiction. This addiction has a hold on you. It's controlling you. It's hurting you. It's hurting the ones you love. It's slowly taking everything in your life away. It's time to face those demons and break free. April, you have that power. You have that will to do it. You once you once you break free from these illusions that seem to have you in their grip. Once you break free from those, you are going to take your own power back. You are going to realize you are so much more, deserve so much more, and that you are in control. The addiction does not control you. You control the addiction. I know a lot of people say, you know, you, like, addictions control you. You have no how are you do it? You, you want to stop, but you can't stop. That's not true. You are not born with an addiction. Um, so you, it's not something you were born with. It's mind control. If you believe you can do it truly, honestly, deep down, if you believe it, if you want it, you will have it. You will break free. You will have freedom. Ask your angels for help. Ask the divine to help you. And then believe it. Believe you can do it. Because it's time to take back your power. It's time to control the things in your life that you have felt out of control of for a long time. You can do it. And once you do, you will be amazed at what you have waiting for you. It's, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to just happen. You got to work for it. You got to believe it. You got to want it. And sobriety will be yours. And then the blessings will start flowing in. 
open up and communicate with people that you've cut out of your life. For a group of you, it's it was over something petty. Um, open up communication. They're wanting to talk to you just as much as you are them. For another group of you, there's somebody in your space that is trying to self or is trying to sabotage your happiness. They don't want you happy because they're miserable themselves. Um, be cautious of these people. Uh, don't allow them in your space because it'll come to light who those people really are. If you keep doing good, you keep walking your path um, with your eyes straight forward and um, with good intentions, the lower vibrational pieces of shit, pardon my language, they'll get theirs. Karma will serve them. So just keep walking your path, um, doing the good things you do, living the good life you live, and you will continue to receive your blessings. Um, don't let them get you down. For a group of you, you have life partners coming in. Um, if there's an age difference, don't worry about it. The divine is sending these people to you to show you what real love is, what real commitment is, what it's like to have fun again, what it's like to enjoy life with a partner, with somebody on your team, on your side. And um, these people will be your life partners. You will um, be in a commitment and you will be successful. You'll be happy and um, you will grow old together. So don't let the age difference um, scare you away. Um, for some reason in society, especially when the female is older than the male, people kind of scoff at it a little more. That's who I'm seeing. If you are an older woman dating a younger man with a large age difference, don't let it stop you. Um, these people were sent here from the divine for you guys to enjoy life, to know what love, commitment, and just true happiness is all about. So that is all I have for you, Leos. Um, I hope you have a beautiful April. I hope you have a wonderful spring. Let things be rebirthed and um, allow blessings to come in and enjoy your new beginnings because that's what spring is all about. So until next time, I wish you all love, light, and God bless.